Suppose there was someone who came to you and they said, I have a proposition for you. And they have the power to make this proposition. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. And they say, look, I have the ability to give you all of the wealth, all of the power, all of the pleasure, all of the prestige that this world has to offer. You can have it all. You name it and it'll be yours. But there's a price. We say, well, what an offer. What is the price? I want you to have your little finger surgically removed. That's the cost. You have your finger surgically removed and give it to me and I'll give you all of this. Would you take that deal? Now, wait a minute. Don't answer out loud. Some of you are thinking right now. Would you take that deal? I'm telling you there are millions of people in the world who would. They would give a finger. But now let's suppose he didn't ask for your little finger. Let's suppose the deal is different. He asked for your right arm. Would you give your right arm to have everything this world can offer? Some say no, but some would say yes. Now wait a minute. Suppose he doesn't ask for your finger or your arm. Suppose he says, I want your ability to hear. You'll never hear another sound, but you can have everything else. He said, wait a minute. Well, suppose he said, not your ears, but I want your ears and your eyes and both arms. He said, you're crazy. You're crazy. I don't, I don't care what you're offering me. Do you think I would give my eyes, my ears, my arms for what you can offer me? No deal. Of course. Everybody would come to a point when they would say, no deal. Is that not true? Obviously. Now listen to me very carefully. There's some who are listening right now who are already giving a whole lot more to gain a whole lot less. You are giving your soul and you're not gaining all the pleasures of this world. You're not gaining everything that this world has to offer. And friend, that's the logic of Jesus Christ. He said, what should it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul worth more than your hands, your eyes, your ears, your soul made in the image of God? What a tragic, foolish transaction. 